From community to community and from coast to coast, millions of people join their hearts and voices in prayer today. The Mid-South would not be left out. Have a look. So the National Day of Prayer is about getting back and slowing down and thinking what's really important in life. Well, every year we participate in the National Day of Prayer because we believe God literally hears and answers prayer. Yes, that you would help us as a nation, as a church. Jesus said, where two or three have gathered together in my name, there am I in their midst. We had a lot more than that here today. And we believe that the Lord is here and we believe that he's hearing our prayers and that he will answer them according to his perfect will. We ought to pray, we ought to talk with God because if you love somebody, you talk with them. And if they love you, which God loves us all, he'll talk to us. Protect this country and protect those freedoms. God's like our heavenly father, but he's also like our father. If you want to get to know your dad, and you asked him to spend the day with you and then you never talked to him or you never acknowledged, well, why do you think your relationship with God is shallow if you never spend time with him? It is in your holy name we pray. Well, the purpose of prayer is not to beg or plea. It's to think and thank, to self-reflect and to become the best versions of a city and a person each of us can possibly be. Before we ask God for anything, it's really our responsibility to thank Him for everything. The importance of this day is to remember what unites us, not what divides us. That we're all created in the image of God. A lot of times we want to have a tendency to pray for ourselves, but when we intercede, we're actually praying for others. And that's what this National Day of Prayer is. We're trying to pray for the, those in authority above us, uh, the governor, uh, the president, the, uh, the judicial, the executive, the legislative branch of our government. And it's important that uh, the churches come together uh, cross-denominationally, cross-culturally, and get to uh, know each other through intercessory prayer. The wisdom that we need, that that is who you are. We need to call out to God in the good times and the bad times because we don't really know what's coming down the road. We don't know what is ahead. And so we need to be constantly praying and talking with the Lord. Amen.